If you love citrus in any of its delightful forms and flavors, or if you help to grow it, pick it, ship it, process it, sell it, prepare it, or serve it, that splendid glass of OJ could suddenly turn quite bitter. Because we all have a problem, and it looks like this. These little guys hatch into these little guys, grow into these little guys, and do this, and this. and this, and this, to citrus. It's called citrus greening. Spread by the Asian citrus civet. Citrus greening, aka Huang Long Bing or HLB, is a bacterial infection which destroys citrus fruit and the trees themselves by attacking the tree's nutrient systems. There is currently no known cure. Experts are concerned that if left unchecked, in as few as three to five years, the multi-billion dollar U.S. citrus industry could easily look like this. With so much at stake, and with the doomsday clock already ticking, in order to survive, citrus growers have declared war against the pests and the diseases they carry. Conventional weaponry in this war so far has been a plethora of toxic poisons, each deadlier than the last. They're sprayed on the trees, hoping to target the pests, reduce their numbers, and slow the spread of disease. When the trees are first sprayed, the pests die by coming into direct contact with the deadly, petroleum-derived, often carcinogenic neurotoxins that chemically alter and affect most, if not every, nerve, system, and cell in their bodies. Others will die, bees included, by coming in contact with the toxic residues still on the leaves, the stems, the fruit, the branches, the trunks, days, even weeks later. Of course, no one really wants to talk about where else those residues might be. Or the harm they very well might be causing.
Experts are now admitting that at best, on average, toxic pesticides only reduce about 50% of targeted insects. Of those that remain, many will mutate and their offspring will become resistant to the latest applied poison. The problem is so bad that farmers are being instructed to spray their trees by any means possible with a different poison each time every 21 days 11 to 15 times a year and so the cycle starts all over again each time trying to find a way to reduce at least 50 percent of the insect population with a newer deadlier poison before the poisons can kill us. Will the citrus industry survive? Will we? Is there no end to the toxic cycle?